Welcome to the Allegheny Health Network Esophageal Institute. This educational video has been developed to aid our patients to better understand a manometry study. We will discuss key points to manometry, preparation for testing, and what to expect during as well as after the procedure. The esophagus is a tube-like muscle that contracts during swallowing to push food and drink from the mouth into the stomach. The esophagus contains two sphincters, upper and lower, which are responsible for opening and closing during swallowing. Esophageal manometry is a test used to measure the function of the esophagus and esophageal sphincters. Manometry provides information about the strength of the contractions, muscle coordination and the functioning of the sphincters. Esophageal manometry is used to evaluate the following conditions. Difficulty swallowing, heartburn, nausea after eating, regurgitation, globus or the sensation of food getting stuck in the esophagus, and chest pain. It is an important evaluation if you are considering surgery. High blood pressure, heart and seizure medications are permitted with a sip of water two hours before the study. You must stop medications that cause bleeding one week prior to your appointment, if permitted by your physician. Please let us know if you are unable to stop a blood thinning medication. Avoid the following medications the day of the study. Pain medications, sedatives, tranquilizers, antispasmatics, promotility medications. The study will take approximately 30 minutes to complete because you will need to have the ability to follow directions for swallowing and the risk for aspiration, you will not be sedated for the procedure. A trained nurse will begin by explaining the procedure to you. Any questions or concerns that you may have will be addressed. A lidocaine-based gel will be inserted into the nostril to aid in numbing the nasal area. Next, a Q-tip covered in the lidocaine gel and afferent nasal spray will be placed into the nostril. This helps to facilitate passage of the catheter. The catheter is a small, flexible, pressure-sensitive tube. It will be passed through your nose, down your esophagus and into your stomach. Sometimes, this may be uncomfortable and cause gagging, but this is usually transient. During the insertion, the nurse will ask that your chin is tucked to your chest and sip plain water. Once placed, the catheter will be taped to the nose and you will be placed in a reclining position. You will be asked to not swallow, which allows evaluation of the esophagus at rest. Once recording has started, you will be asked to take a deep breath in and blow it out to make sure the catheter is located correctly. After taping the catheter, your chair will be reclined and additional pillows can be placed behind your head to help you feel comfortable. Once placed, your nurse will ask you to not swallow. She is looking at the upper and lower sphincters at rest. To help you avoid swallowing, the nurse may instruct you to open your mouth or stick out your tongue. Once the resting phase is complete, the nurse will squirt a small amount of salt water into your mouth and ask you to swallow. It is very important to swallow just once to obtain an accurate reading. After 10 successful swallows have been recorded, testing is complete and the catheter will be withdrawn. When all of the swallows have been obtained, the nurse will remove the catheter. The tape will be removed and you will be asked to take a deep breath in and blow out. Following this test, some patients experience soreness in the nose and throat. Throat lozenges or salt water gargles may be used to relieve any discomfort. You may resume normal daily activities, diet and medications immediately following a manometry. Driving is permitted since no sedating medications were involved. A follow-up appointment typically is scheduled two weeks later with your physician to review the results of your study and establish a plan of care. As with any testing, if you experience any unusual symptoms or side effects after a manometry, contact our office at 412-359-4373 or go to the emergency room immediately.